So this morning at the office, Lily challenged me to recreate five transitions from different places. So let's open up Premiere and get to work. The first one is coming from Apple's new MacBook Pro trailer. All right, this should not be an issue. I recently bought a gimbal, but it has been years since I last used one, but I'm gonna try it anyway. First, I'm gonna make a shot where I tilt towards the ground and then move up. We wanna create this movement because that's where we're gonna cut into the next shot. For the second shot, start from the ground move forward and then tilt the camera up. You can end wherever you want, I just like it to end in the sky. Now in Premiere, trim the first clip to the moment where your camera is moving fast and the ground is looking blurry. Then for the second clip, trim away the first part until you reach the ground again. Alright, next, snap the clips against each other and that already looks good. If needed, color grade the clips so that the colors of the streets are matched. To blend them together even more, click the cut in between both the clips and hit Shift plus D on your keyboard. This will create a crossfade which make the clips fade into each other. That looks cool but here comes the real challenge. Creating a hidden cut. A hidden cut is a yeah, a cut that you can't see. Lily found one of these in the movie 1917, which by the way is an awesome film. This right here is a hidden cut. To recreate this in Premiere, I created a shot of Lily walking behind a tree. Make sure you pass the tree completely. Then for the second shot, film your talent walking again and make sure the distance between the camera and the subject are approximately the same as in the first shot. In Premiere, trim the first clip to the moment where the tree is all the way out of sight. Then move it one track up, now drag the second clip of your talent walking underneath it. Select the top video and go to the effect controls. Make sure the play ad is on the moment where the tree is just about to enter the frame completely, right before you see this gap. Then click the pen tool to create a mask. In the program monitor, draw a mask all the way around your frame. Once that's done, click the mask pad stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then back in the program monitor, use your scroll wheel to move one frame forward. Then adjust the mask so it follows the tree. Keep doing that until the mask is all the way out of the frame. You can always play around with the feather, this will make it look even more realistic. And that's actually it. The next challenge is this Mr. Beast transition. This one can be a little tricky, but once you have it, you can save it as a preset and throw it on any clip you want. First, I'm gonna download some beautiful drone shots from Storyblocks. It's so useful, I don't even have to leave Premiere anymore. What if you crashed your drone trying to film the perfect aerial footage? In that case, you should have used Storyblocks. By the way, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Storyblocks is Curated Stock Library has everything you need to create high quality video in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images and more. You can download unlimited assets for just one predictable subscription cost. You can say goodbye to paperclip pricing. Enhancing your social media videos is easy by accessing exclusive Storyblocks labeled music tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Storyblocks will always keep you protected from copyright strikes so that you can focus on what matters and that's creating. Besides that, you can save hours with pre-made motion graphic templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Apple Motion and DaVinci Resolve. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to storyblocks.com slash Premiere Basics or just click the link down below. And now let's continue with our Mr. Beast transition. So here you can see two clips. The first thing you have to do is create an adjustment layer. Once you have it, drag it on top of your clips. Trim it so they have the same length on both sides. The length of these clips clips determines the length of your transition, just keep that in mind. Now set a cut in the middle of the adjustment layer. Next we're gonna create some space to zoom out, because if we don't, we have these black borders. In the effects library, find the replicate effect, drag it on the first clip, then find the mirror effect and apply that one as well. Now head over to the effect controls and set the count from the replicate effect to 3. Now for the mirror effect, set the reflection angle to 90 degrees, then drag the reflection center down so it connects to the middle. Now duplicate the mirror effect and set the reflection angle to minus 90 degrees. Move the reflection center up this time. Duplicate it again and set the reflection angle back to zero. Then drag the reflection center to the left side. Again until the clips connect. Duplicate it one last time and set the reflection angle to 180 degrees. Then drag the reflection center to the right side. Now we filled up the black bars. Amazing and now it's time for the zoom effect. Now find the transform effect and drag it on both the adjustment layers. Select the first one and go to the effect controls. Move the playhead to the first frame of the clip and set the scale to 300. That way you won't see the borders. Now move the playhead to the last frame of the clip and change the scale to 100. Expand the velocity curves and pull the
the lever of the first keyframe to ease out the animation. That way it will start smoothly and go faster. Now back in the timeline, select the second adjustment layer and go to the effect controls. This time on the first frame, set the scale to 300. Move to the last frame and reset the scale back to 100. For easing the frames, pull the lever of the last keyframe to ease the animation in. This way it will end smoothly. Oh yeah, don't forget to increase the shutter angle on both the adjustment layers to introduce motion blur. There you go, you got one of the many Mr. Beast transitions. Now Lily found a video of Queen Chelsea on TikTok where she opens up a closet and transitions into a laptop. Go give her a follow by the way, she makes amazing videos. I'm gonna create my own version, so first I take a shot of me opening up a small key cabinet. Rotate your camera horizontal so it opens up like a laptop. Then for the second shot, start vertical and turn into the same direction until your camera is horizontal again. Now in Premiere, trim the first clip to the moment where the cabinet is half open. Then for the second clip, trim it to where the laptop is half open. Then you'll get this. It already looks great, but it's time to refine it a little. First drag the second clip one track up and make it overlap with the first one. Then set the opacity just low enough so you can still see the laptop and the cabinet. Now select the first clip and in the effect controls, adjust the clip a little so the cabinet matches with the laptop. The closer you get this movement to match, the better your result. By the way, if you decide to recreate these transitions, send them over to me on Instagram, I'd love to see them. The fifth transition is actually about audio and you learn everything about that right here in the next lesson on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.